Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs. I needed to come down and do some last minute Christmas shopping and then I also realized I never got to try the December cookie from Gideon's. I've been so busy traveling and moving that I wasn't able to come down the first week like I usually do. So I figured today would be a great day. And then later on, I think we're gonna meet up with some friends, go to one of the parks and ride some rides and eat some food and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is December 18th and tomorrow is my birthday, December 19th, that's my birthday. And it is so beautiful out right now. It's like chilly and sunny at the same time. The sun is out, but it's kind of cold out. It is 60 degrees out, but it is so beautiful because the sun is out. And like I mentioned before, I got to try the cookie of the month at Gideon's. So I think we're going to head over there first, see what the wait time is like, and then do some Christmas shopping. I know I want to get Gracie some items so I can wrap them up and she can open them up on Christmas Day because I, I'm pretty much like that dog dad that does that. And also some friends, some things I need to get for them too. And here it is, Gideon's Bakehouse. Time to see how long the virtual queue is. I'm sure it's gonna be long though because during the holidays, as it gets closer to Christmas, Disney Springs gets super busy because people are doing their last minute shopping and he gets to take photos with Santa down here for free. I can honestly say for the past two years, I have been here the first week of every single month to try the monthly cookie at Gideon's. But because I had so much going on for December, I was in Los Angeles. I recently moved, if you guys have seen my last video, which by the way, I'm all settled in, uh, but I haven't been able to make it out until today, 18 days later. So, I mean, it's, I guess it's better to be late than never, you know? Here is a look at the December menu, and I love the artwork of the Christmas witch on there. And during the holiday season, they actually have two uh, limited edition flavors. They have the Kris Kringle and then the Krampus. And the Kris Kringle was at one time my favorite cookie ever until they came out with the chocolate chip banana bread. So this is like my second favorite. And then they also have the Kris Kringle cake. So we're definitely gonna be doing that and maybe a coffee. The wait time is 200 minutes. Luckily, that's a virtual wait, and you don't have to stand in line so you can go around and do other stuff. And there's a couple of uh, Christmas items, well, Christmas presents that I need to go buy that I cannot film or else I'm gonna ruin the surprise. So I think we're just gonna fast forward and jump right on into the cookies and the cakes once I get them. And here it is, all of the limited edition items for the month of December. I got the Kris Kringle right here, which is a white chocolate chip cookie. And then I got the Krampus, and this one has Andy's mints in it, it's so good. And then I got the Krampus cold brew to match it. And it's got the same kind of flavor as the cookie, a minty mocha, and it's so amazing. And then I got the Kris Kringle cake. Look at this, delicious things await. I'm currently sitting on the paddlefish, the boat, and uh, we're gonna try both of the cookies. I'll let you know which one I like more, even though I already know I love the Kris Kringle, but you never know, things change. So I think we're gonna start off with the Krampus itself. And look at this, it looks so good, especially with those Andes mints. I mean, this is a good cookie. Either way, I've had them both. Like it's a kind of go-to for the holidays, but I just love that Kris Kringle. So here we go, Krampus. The Krampus is so good, just like as I remember it last year. And I would have to say, like, if you're a big chocolate fan, then you're gonna love this. And the same thing with Andy's mints. I guess it comes down to preference, whether or not you like white chocolate or dark chocolate more. And especially if you like the Andy's mints, you can see they're actually all on the top there. It's a very good cookie though. Now it's time for the main event, the Kris Kringle. Look at this cookie. I love it so much. Oh. I could, I could easily eat this whole entire thing right now. You're just too good to be true. I love this cookie. It is so good. It's like my number two, like I said. The banana bread still takes the number one spot, but this right here, it's just so amazing. You can really taste the vanilla in there. It's a great cookie. I seriously just want to sit here and finish eating this Kris Kringle, but I got to put it away. I really got to put the cookie down. And uh, now we're going to try the cake slice. I have a lot of, I have a lot. <laughs> 
We packed away our leftover cookies. Now it's time to get down to the cake slice. And look at this bad boy. This is the Kris Kringle cake slice. I'm gonna take the paper off of it. Oh, it looks so good. Holy moly, look at all that frosting. Gideon's cake slices are like, I would say 50% frosting, 50% cake. Also, I realized I didn't tell you guys about the Krampus coffee. I love this. It is so good. Mm. And it's cool because it says, I've been nice. And then you can flip the cup over and it says, I've been naughty. But Krampus is naughty. So, I mean, the coffee itself is nice. All right, let's get into this cake business here. I'm gonna take a centerpiece right here. There we go, cake slice. That is such an amazing cake slice. I love it so much. Definitely gonna pack that up. It's coming home with me. You're coming home with me, baby. I'm coming back for you. All right, so enough of the cookie and cake business. I still have to go with the Kris Kringle as my all-time favorite. I do like the coffee. The Krampus coffee is really good, and kind of drinking them together is like a great combination. But I also just noticed this little uh, saying on the side, fortune has smiled upon you. Lucky holder of this mystical pouch, soon you will enjoy delicacies beyond compare. How funny is that? That is such a funny, that's a cool saying. And uh, it's time to move along with our uh, goodies in hand. At some point as I was eating my cookies and drinking my coffee, I ended up spilling some of my Krampus coffee on my new hoodie. Look at this. Makes me sad, but I love these hoodies. These are from Roosevelt's actually, and they are so good. I have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out, but I am obsessed now. You're going to see me wearing these a lot. I figured we'd make our way over to the world of Disney so we could do some Christmas shopping, see if I could find any cool toys for Gracie, and then I noticed a gigantic line, and I was like, oh wow, I wonder if that's for Amorettes or if that's for World of Disney, but the line itself is actually for the restrooms. Look at this. That just shows you how busy it actually is here during like the final week of Christmas. We're just gonna browse around a little bit, see if anything catches our eye. But we do have to stop at Sprinkles and get Gracie her cupcakes. Definitely have to do that. And then we'll take them back home and I'll show you guys how she's settling in a little bit. I do have to say it is pretty festive in here. And I am in the market for another monorail. I do like the monorail setups, but look at it, it's so pretty. I even put up my Christmas tree just for the final week. I didn't put up my Christmas tree all year round because I knew I was moving, but I put it up actually as I was unpacking. So I'm gonna have to show you guys that too later on. Look at this though, 2023 merchandise already. Wow, fancy. Look at that, we're already celebrating the new year. I wonder if they have any other, oh yeah. Oh boy, 2023. This is cool. Oh, they have a shirt too. Wow, they're definitely uh, already already in the new year. What do you guys think? Is it too early for the 2023 merchandise? I did see some like Christmas ornaments. I don't think it's too early for that because people will buy them to give to people as gifts for next year. But I don't know about the photo frames and stuff like that. Unless, you know, somebody might be going on vacation and uh, they're like, here, here's some 2023 stuff to wear while you're down there. So I guess it's good. But now we're going to make our way over to Trendy. And that's where like the pet stuff is. That's where we got to look. As soon as you walk in the co-op to the left, they have Disney Tales, a pet collection. And this is where we'll get some of Gracie's gifts from. There's a lot of cool items in here. Maybe not the Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy bed, but she has started to actually sit in it. Ooh, they do have these ones though. That looks really cool. A little dog toy for her for Christmas. I like it. I don't know how much it is. Oh, it's $19.99, but she'll love it. Oh, and then over here we got a little stocking, and this has a Mickey Premium Bar, a Mickey Gingerbread. I wonder how much this one is. $24.99. There we go. See, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, they even have an arc reactor from Iron Man. I think that's what that is. These ones are definitely squeakers. That's so funny. I wonder if anyone's watching this video with their dog right now. <laughs> oh, and listen to this one too. 
Honestly, I think I'm just gonna stock up on all these fun toys and then that way I could throw away her old ones because she's got some really raggly looking like ones. Things that are just missing their heads. Our pet's heads are falling off. I just spent $60 on dog toys, but you gotta take advantage of that 30% annual pass holder discount that they're doing right now. And I got a lot of cool toys for Gracie. I even found a 101 Dalmatian one as I was walking away. So I had to go buy, go back and buy another one. But uh, yeah, I wanna give them to her when we get home, but I wanna save it for Christmas. So I'm gonna wrap them up for her and let her kinda try to like break apart the wrapping, you know? Also, I feel like every time I come by the vault collectibles, uh, well, the vault collection, I always think they have new things I've never seen before. Like, I've never seen these orange board, uh, orange bird, uh, whatchamacallit, Crocs before. Like, is this something new? But there's always something new that I've never seen before. And I love it. They can keep adding more and more. I love this collection. I think the uh, vault collection is better than the 50th anniversary stuff. Like, in my opinion, I think it's way better. I know that it is Christmas time and I should be buying things for other people, but I think I stumbled upon something I kind of want to get for myself. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested. Look at these vault collection vans for the 50th anniversary. I absolutely love them. This is so cool. Look at this. And they also have these ones too, but honestly, I think I'm all about this. I mean, I do love that pattern on the back side there, but I love how there's Mickey right on the front there. And they're only $69.99, and I get 30% off right now, so I think I'm going to get them for myself. I think I'm going to get myself a Christmas gift. I don't know if I'll wrap it up and put it underneath the tree, but I might actually swap out shoes and wear them today. I am now a proud owner of a brand new pair of shoes. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Look at how awesome these are. I'm in love with them. And they were only $58 with my discount. But that is so cool. I love these shoes so much. These shoes aren't ideal for walking around the parks because they're kind of stiff. I mean, if you guys have ever wore Vans before. But they're really cool looking and they make me feel pretty. I like them. And even though we got Gracie a bunch of toys, there's no way we could leave Disney Springs without stopping the Sprinkles to get her a pup cake. She needs her pup cakes. Pup cakes have been obtained, a nice little three pack. Even though she goes through those pretty quick, I should buy more, but I want freshness, you know? And I come down to the Springs at least once or twice a month. Now it's time to head on out and go meet up with some friends. I think we're going to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, one of those parks, but it's a perfect night tonight. Seriously, so beautiful out. Look at it. It was so busy today at Disney Springs. I had to park all the way on the top of the parking garage, but I kind of like it because you get this beautiful view and coming out right now, the sunset is beautiful. Here is a look at all of Disney Springs and you can see the sun is starting to set. People are doing their shopping and then you've got the balloon there. We're making our way to Epcot and look at Spaceship Earth all lit up like a Christmas ornament. Look at that. It's green. Now it's blue. Oh, there it goes. This is very cool. Wow, look at it. There's a snowflake. Now that we've made it to Epcot, I wanted to switch out my hat because I thought it would look cool with my new sweater. I got the Guardians of the Galaxy one, but look at this. I forgot that I had my uh, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese 25th uh, Disneyland Anniversary posters in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something with them when I get back, but I'm going to switch out and wear this one. It's a nice night for a little stroll around World Showcase. I wish we wore riding Guardians of the Galaxy. That'd be nice. But doesn't this hat actually fit this outfit really well? Walking in as they're starting the illumination part of Beacons of Magic. I'm 
actually getting a little bit hungry. I was at Disney Springs like all afternoon and I didn't get to eat like any like food food. So I think we're going to try to see if we can get some walker reservations at a couple of our favorite places like maybe some Teppanito, maybe get some hibachi or maybe go to uh, Via Napoli, see if we could just walk up and order a pizza. You never know. We're just going to test the waters and hopefully get a bite. We're gonna just make our way straight back to World Showcase, start walking around and join the now function on the My Disney Experience app and see if anything opens up. Literally, as I was walking into World Showcase, the first thing that popped up is the first restaurant that we've come across, and that's Le Cellier. So I think we're actually gonna go to Le Cellier. We joined the walk up list and they said our table's ready like immediately. Right this way, down in the Canada Pavilion, Le Cellier Steakhouse. And it's so pretty back here as we're walking through. I think it's so funny how we just showed up and now we're actually heading into Le Cellier. Like, a lot of people don't know that these hard to get reservations, instead of looking for a like, designated time, there is the now function on the My Disney Experience app. You just hit now and it'll allow you to join the walk up list and look at that. I know this is probably a little bright, but here is a look at the menu. And of course, they've got some poutine offerings, and then they've got the meats. They got the slow roasted beef prime rib, the ribeye steak, the New York strip, and the prices are basically like $44 to $59 per entree. The restaurant itself is really cool because it's like you're dining inside of a castle and look at it in here Like and this is what I'm talking about when I said it's really dark. It's very small too. Not too many suites in here I want to try something different, but I still want to get my favorite which is the ribeye any place I go uh, If there's a ribeye on the menu, I usually go for it I'm not that big into the fillets and uh, I'm kind of torn up. They did switch up the size a little bit, so I might try some different sides. The New York strip comes with a Canadian cheddar pretzel bread pudding, garlic peppercorn butter, arugula, caramelized onions, and then the ribeye steak comes with a Guri Yukon gold uh, crusted potato and onion cognac gravy with crispy onions. That all sounds pretty fancy. Chris, what are you smiling about? <laughs> you just pronounced Gruyere. Gruyere? Or did I say Guyu? Have, you, you should have said Guyu. I don't know what you said. You should have consulted your language, your yeah. pronunciation specialist on that one. <laughs> Guyu. 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 <laughs> if the sides that you don't, like if the sides aren't what you like about a certain thing, you can interchange them. So you can get the New York strip sides with the ribeye sides and the filet with the either one and back and forth. I opted in to actually get the ribeye with french fries and brussels sprouts and now the bread service has arrived and I love this bread service. You get a little pretzel roll, a couple of other different types of bread and then this maple like butter right here and it's so good. The pretzel rolls are soft and hot. It's like eating a pretzel. This pretzel bread is so good. I'm always so used to the fake Disney candles. It kind of always catches me off guard when you come to a nice establishment and they actually have like real candles. And I almost burned my fingers there. <laughs> and the bread service was so good. Mine, I, I mean, I just love that pretzel roll, but the multi-grain and the sourdough, those are also really amazing, but I'm all pretzel roll. But now it is time for the main event and it looks so good. Here is the ribeye, and I got the french fries on the side along with all of the stuff to build my own, basically, like poutine. And then I got the Brussels sprouts. And then, Kristen, what'd you get, the ribeye? I got the ribeye too, but with the risotto. It's so good. The risotto. Risotto. I love risotto. <laughs> all right, here we go. The first bite. It looks so good, I can see all the char on there. I'm excited. This steak is so phenomenal. Cooked to perfection just the way I like it. 
got some nice char on the outside. The fried onions, the potatoes are good. I gotta try this gravy here. Look at that. Oh, and then of course, the maple Brussels sprouts. I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you. Now it's time to dive into the Brussels sprouts here. Wow. These are some of the best Brussels sprouts I think I've ever had. This onion cognac gravy is so good, but they only give you a little tiny bit. I feel like I need like a, a gravy boat. I need a gravy boat. Look at they only filled it up a little bit. I'm already running out of french fries. I am definitely a proud member of the Clean Plate Club because that was phenomenal. That was so good and I kind of just wish my ribeye would reappear. Like I wish my ribeye would just respawn so I can eat it again. Look at that. Nothing left except for a half bitten pretzel roll and a little bit of uh, Brussels sprouts there. But this was so good, now I feel so full. I honestly feel like there's just a 16 ounce ribeye steak sitting in my stomach. I thought about going in for some dessert, but I don't think I can do it. So instead, we're gonna have some nice uh, Canadian coffee. And it's really cool because they use maple whiskey cream that they make in house with it. And uh, I'm excited to try. Here they are. Cheers. Cheers to Canadian coffee. Ooh, that is so good. Wow. Much too good. I am loving my coffee, but Kristen decided she wanted to get some chocolate mousse. And it's a chocolate mousse mousse. Look at that. It's an actual little mousse. So I hope you enjoy this wonderful mousse. I will enjoy the mousse. <laughs> I will enjoy the mousse. <laughs> That steak was phenomenal. I feel so full. It's almost like I uh, have a whole 16 ounce ribeye steak in my stomach. Isn't that funny? But I really do like Le Cellier steaks. I feel like uh, they were kind of hit or miss in the past. I've gotten steaks from there before and sometimes they weren't like the best. But the past three times now that I've went there, home runs and I would even put it in my top five as long as they consistently stay on this trend and I loved it so good I forgot that I switched out my shoes and I'm wearing brand new shoes in a park which is a big no-no I'm starting to feel the blisters on it I have to break them in but Epcot is not the way Last time I was here, we wanted to actually go ride Living with the Land and show you guys the holiday overlay, but it was like a 50 minute wait. Like it was kind of crazy. So I think we're gonna go do Living with the Land today as a redemption, and uh, it's probably a little bit less of a wait time. The moment of truth is Living with the Land a long wait? Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. It looks like we got our own boat too. Very fancy. Oh, here we go. Time to sit back, relax, and enjoy living with the land. Here it comes. The holiday overlay. Look at how pretty this is. I love it. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets. And keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa. And this is miracle fruit. And I also like how they added this projection of like snowfall in here. Is it I don't know if it's snowfall? I don't know what it is really. Is it snow or snowflakes? Even the tilapia have decorations. Look at that. 
the glimmering greenhouse, and here comes the bass. Wow, this is so nice. I really do love it. You got a little Mickey there with uh, reindeer antlers. Citrus, like the oranges grown here. This is so cool. In Florida, but in northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare and wet. Got a nice little lemon tree over there, some cherry sage, and a lot more lights coming up. Oh, sugar, sugar cane over there. Vanilla. At Look at the little mints here, the mint plants. Can I grab some of those or snapdragons? And Brussels sprouts, we just ate some of those. And kale? This is fun stuff right here. It's amazing with just adding a little lights and some music really can increase like the attraction to a ride. Like it was, it was very popular the first couple days of festival holidays and it's still amazing. I think they should do a lot more holiday overlays. Yeah, right? They should, like not just for like special ticketed events, but like for every day like season wise. Now it's time to start making our way out. Gotta head home, gotta get Gracie her pup cake and uh, wrap her presents. Gracie, I'm home. Whoa, look at that butt. I'm home, I'm home. I got you some gifts. What are you doing? Come on upstairs, let's go. Whoa, what, what? Look at that smile. Let me see that smile. Whoa, let me see that smile. Come on upstairs. Where you going? Whoa. <laughs> Look at you. You want this pup cake here? Oh yes, I know you do. Here, I'll set it down for you. Hold on. Let me get it out of the wrapper. Hmm? You want this? Here. You can pick it up. Take it. What? What are you what are you taking it to go? Where are you taking that pup cake? <laughs> Look at her. It's so funny she took her pup cake and ran downstairs with it. Like, why was she going down there? Now that she's distracted, I wanna show you guys all the Christmas gifts I got her. I got her these right here. Nice little collection. Then I got her the Haunted Mansion ones. Let's see, what else did we get? That's not for her. <laughs> Let's see, something else here. Oh. Yes, the 101 Dalmatian one. Look at this. Canine Crunchies. <laughs> Positively adorable. I think it has a squeaker. Oh, don't want to do that too loud. We got one more too. Oh, I got these ones. Oh, she's going to love these so much. But these are all going to replace all of her chewed up nasty toys. Because she has a lot of those. Let me see. I don't want to tease her, but... What was that? What's that? Not till Christmas. But these are the toys she's playing with now. Look at, what is this? What is this? What are you doing with that? Huh? Oh, and then look at some of her other toys that she has. Let's see. Let's just pull some of these bad boys out. How old is this skunk? What? What else you got here? A head of a llama. Is this your head? <laughs> I'm not very good at wrapping, so I'm just gonna do my best. I'm just gonna unfold this, put this in here like this, put it right in the middle, line it up sideways, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. There we go, wrapped it up. I think I did a pretty good job. We're gonna wrap up the rest of them, put them under the tree, and then I'm gonna be able to give her something on Christmas morning. I'll be like, here you go. And I think if I like hit the squeakers on some of these, like in here, like this, if I could, I think she'll tear it apart, I think so. So that would be fun. I haven't really been able to decorate my tree. I was just able to put the lights on, a couple of ornaments, and uh, this is all I got to put under there so far. So we'll put it right over here, just like that. 
Bigfoot on a rocket powered skateboard and I think she's gonna like it. And just like that, we are done here today. A fun little fun day. Did some Christmas shopping, some cookies, some dinner. Got to wrap up some presents and uh, yeah, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm very excited. It's gonna be a fun day. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog or just hang out and relax. You know, I wanna get more videos out. I feel like I said, the month of December, I've just been so busy, but I'm sorry that I, I'm not as consistent as I normally am. So thanks for sticking around and watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Look at Gracie. We'll see you next time. Bye.